food for the birds. There's some bread and butter and stale cake with nuts and currants. No, Webster, it isn't for you. I've been putting food out for the birds every day during the winter. But now the spring is here, they'll soon find plenty of things to eat. Well, like buds. And insects. And worms. Oh, so you want to play, do you, Webster? Come on. table. It didn't take them long to spot the food, did it? I made that bird table, and all because of this old sock. Let me tell you what happened. It all began last spring, a year ago, when Webster was just a puppy. It was a warm spring morning, and I was busy planting some shrubs. <whistles> Suddenly, I could hear a bird singing. Such a beautiful song. It was a blackbird. He was hoping there might be a female blackbird nearby who would hear his song and come to live in the garden. And that's just what happened. A female blackbird moved in. Soon, she was busy collecting bits of grass and stalks and taking them to a bush. What was she doing? She was building a nest. It took her about a week. And when it was finished, she laid four eggs in the nest. Then she sat on them to keep them warm. About two weeks later, I spotted the male blackbird again. What was he up to? I saw him fly into the bush with food in his beak. A moment later, he flew out again. I wondered if the eggs had hatched, and so I tiptoed over to take a closer look. There in the nest were four chicks, only a few days old by the look of it. Their beaks were wide open, just waiting to be fed. Then I saw Father Blackbird standing on the grass. Now what was he doing? He seemed to be listening. What was he listening for? He was listening for worms. Blackbirds can hear a worm moving about under the ground. A worm makes a tasty meal for blackbirds. Every day the blackbirds fed their hungry chicks. There was plenty of food to be found at that time of year. The spring was nearly over and soon it was summer. It was too hot to do anything. I had an ice cream to keep me cool. And Webster lay in the shade out of the sunshine. He had grown bigger by then. So had the young blackbirds. And soon they were old enough to leave the nest. 
Father Blackbird showed them where to find food for themselves. They would learn to eat insects, fruit, and berries, as well as worms. As the young blackbirds explored the garden, their parents kept watch to make sure no one hurt them. Suddenly, Father Blackbird began to make such a noise. So did Mother Blackbird. Then all the other birds joined in. What was it all about? It was Treacle, my neighbor's cat. Cats will hurt birds if they catch them. Webster chased Treacle away, and everyone quietened down again. Soon, the summer came to an end. As the weather grew colder, the leaves died and fell to the ground. It was autumn. The young blackbirds had flown away. So had Mother Blackbird. The male blackbird was on his own again. My garden is his home. When another male blackbird tried to move in, he soon chased him away. One morning, there was frost on the ground. Winter was on its way. I put out some scraps of food for the birds. But Treacle was there, and he decided he would eat the scraps. Webster chased Treacle away, and then he started to eat the food himself. Webster! Webster, come on! The weather grew colder and colder, and then it was winter. The birds had a hard time finding enough to eat in the freezing weather. I saw one bird who had died of hunger. One day I made some hot soup to try and warm myself up. Suddenly, I saw something in the garden. It was black and yellow and lying in the snow. Was it my blackbird? Was he dead? It was Webster's old sock. <laughs> oh, you win, Webster.
There was the blackbird, safe and sound. But it made me think, and I decided to do something useful. a bird table. I put some scraps of food on the table. You can't reach it now, Webster. That's why I made it as tall as this. Come on, I've got some food for you indoors. <laughs> The rest of the winter, all the birds in my garden had enough to eat. At last, the winter came to an end, and it was spring again. And that's the story of the blackbird. Hear that sound? Listen. The blackbird has started to sing. It's one of the sounds you can hear in the spring, like the hiss of the hose that waters the flowers, the call of the cuckoo, the splattering showers the bleat of the lambs, the bar of the sheep, the twittering birds who chirrup and cheep, the clatter of mowers, the click of the shears. These are the sounds that everyone hears. These are the sounds of spring. Webster! Leave the blackbird alone. Mm -hmm. 